Hello and welcome. This is Michelle Christensen of OneNote Worthy Life, and in this quick video, I'm going to show you about text containers in OneNote. If I sound a little scratchy, it's just because there's some pollen in the air right now where I live, but I feel fine otherwise. I'm filming in OneNote for Windows 10, so if your screen looks a little bit different than mine, it might be because you're using a different version or device than I am. I will be switching to OneNote 2016 later in this video to show you a couple of things you can do in that version that you can't do in OneNote for Windows 10. So this video came about as a result of a question I got. And the question was, how do I get a new text container in OneNote? I'm going to answer that question as well as provide you with some more information about text containers. But I wanted to say that I do love answering your questions. I often end up creating a video around that question like I'm doing today. So feel free to ask away. I consider it a win-win when I can answer a question for you and then maybe make a video so that other people can learn the same information. If you have any questions for me, you can comment on this or any video uh, and I'll do my best to help you out. So let's get started with what is a text container? Um, well, you can see them on my screen. Once I hover over this, um, the text container is the box that surrounds what's typed on my screen. It has this grayish colored horizontal line at the top and then a light outline around it. From a, a page on Microsoft website, I got this information, uh, which is the first quote, uh, note containers. Uh, they're sometimes called note containers, sometimes called text containers. But note containers are flexible bounding boxes that contain the notes that you type or paste on a page. The note containers appear on a page whenever you move the pointer over them or when you click on a page and begin typing. Um, so that's it. It's pretty simple um, what they are, how to get them. I do want to show you two things about this, though. Up here at the top, um, this is what Microsoft calls the move handle. And you can grab this where these dots are and move this container around. And I can move it back. And then over here where you see the arrows, they call that the sizing handle. So you can slide that in or out to make the text container narrower or wider. Now, as far as what the text container can hold, um, the second quote is also from that same Microsoft page, which is linked in the description. Um, note containers can hold text, pictures, audio and video clips, handwriting and screen clippings. And I would also add that they can hold tables as well. So they can hold a whole bunch of different things in one text container. So the original question I got was how to get a new text container. And the answer is when you start on a new page, wherever you first click to begin typing or adding other content, you'll get your first text container on that page. And you might only have one text container on a page. If for some reason you want an additional text container, the only thing you need to do is click far enough away from the first one so that OneNote knows that you want a second text container. If you click fairly close to the original, it's going to just think you want to expand that original. So you just need to click somewhere on your page far enough away to get a new one. And it's really not, um, I don't have any sort of hard and fast rule. If you don't get a new one, just click further away until you do get a new one. So there are reasons you might want things in separate containers. Um, things like being able to format, items in the text container differently, um, but you also might want to put all or most of your page content or a big amount of page content in one text container. And a good example is when I make detailed notes for long videos. It might be a long list of bullet points and I might be copying and pasting from different places or moving things around so the formatting might get all messed up. And then when I'm ready to use those notes, I can just format the entire page, like all of the notes with one command by selecting the entire text box. So it just really depends on what works for you. You might want multiple text boxes on a page or text containers, or you might want just one with all or most of your content. So now I'm going to go to a slide that has some sample text containers and we're still in OneNote for Windows 10. Uh, I'll show you a few things you can do with this. So um, you can move or copy or resize. So as I said before, you can use this um, gray bar or right on these dots that are in the middle of the gray bar. Just select that and when you hover over it, you can see that 
my cursor turns into the cross that points up and down and left and right. And when I click on it, I can drag that text box around. And whenever you're in OneNote, if you need something to drag smoothly, hold down the Alt key and you can get a nice smooth drag. Uh, as you can see, if, I, if I'm dragging it without holding the Alt key, you get kind of a, a snapping effect instead of a smooth drag. And that's with the Alt key down. Um, you can also uh, copy or cut and paste it in the, the entire contents of a text box. So I am going to go right up to that gray bar again. I'm going to right click and you can see we have the option to cut or copy. So that's how you would cut or copy. And then um, as I showed before, you can also resize a text box, make it bigger or smaller. Actually, well, I guess it would be technically wider or more narrow by using this um, handle over here on the right. So now I'm going to go into um, OneNote 2016 and I have a copy of this, the same or two original text boxes. And I want to show you a couple things you can do um, in OneNote 2016 that you can't do in OneNote for Windows 10. So when I hover over this text box, you can see that the text container appears. You see the gray bar at the top and then the outline. If you don't want to see that, you can click File, Options, Display, and then let's see. It's the second from the bottom option. Uh, I have Show Note Containers on Pages. Right now it's clicked, so we see those note containers. I'm going to uncheck it and click OK. And now you can see when I'm hovering over this, there's no text container. And same with this other one. So I'm going to go back, File Options, Display, and I'm going to click Show Note Containers and click OK. And now we have them showing up again. So that's just a preference. You might want to work that way. Um, the other thing I want to show you is that in OneNote 2016, you can actually merge the contents of text boxes. So to do that, you can see that I'm in this second text box, the one with the red type. And I'm going to hold down the Shift key. And then you grab the um, Move bar, which is this gray bar at the top. And you can see I'm hovering over it, and my cursor has changed to the cross. And then I'm going to uh, just drag this box over here. And now um, the contents of, of those two text containers are all in one text container. And so now I can do all the things that you could do if they were originally together in one text container. So that's kind of an, a handy feature to have. And I'm going to go back to OneNote for Windows 10 and uh, the final thing I want to show you is just that you can format all of your text in a text container just by selecting the whole text container. So I've done that here. I have my cursor over the gray bar at the top. I've select and I've clicked to select all of the text. And then I'm going to go to home. I'm going to pick, uh, let's do this purple text. And you can see it, it changed the color of all the text in the text container. And I only had to click one time or I only had to format once. So that's it. That's about all I have to tell you about text containers. Um, the original question was, was pretty simple, but there's some extra features of text containers that might not be obvious at first, especially if you don't regularly use OneNote 2016. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have any more text container tips to add to this, let me know in the comments so that everyone can see and we can all help each other out. I would love it if you'd subscribe by hitting the subscribe button. And if you like this, let me know by hitting the thumbs up button. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.